join my contrasting color, which is this blue yarn. It's going to be always held in my left hand. Um, and I want to work um, a couple stitches of each one all the way across just to show you traditional stranded knitting. Um, Franklin Habit reminded us of a way to connect the tail, which I thought was really wonderful in a in a tutorial video, and that was to take the tail of the yarn that you're about to connect and go ahead and thread that onto your tapestry needle and uh, just run it. You know, you're just trying to capture, you're not gonna keep it here, but just sort of weave in a couple stitches and pull that through and then take your um, tapestry needle off and set that down and uh, what that does is um, connects the yarn to your work now of course I've just twisted it all around sorry <laughs> there so now this blue yarn my contrasting color it is engaged with my work. So I'm going to knit a few stitches. And usually what I'll do is the first four stitches of either uh, the first and last four stitches of my swatch. I'm not going to count them for anything. So I'm just going to knit one of the first color and uh, work one of my second color. I fully admit I am terrible at continental knitting. That's not something I practice a lot, but I will attempt to demonstrate it for you here. So just knitted one of gray, which is the main color, and one of the blue contrasting color. So the blue is in my left hand, gray is in my right hand. So now I'm just going to work um, two stitches of each color at a time across the row. So I've knitted two gray, and then I will pick two blue, knit two gray, pick two blue, oops, still whoops, get in there, there we go and so on, all the way across the row. And this um, is just traditional um, stranded knitting. This is not using the technique of locked floats yet. I just want um, I think it's important that everyone understands that in stranded knitting, the yarns do not wrap and lock around each other. They um, are separate. So this gray yarn, I say it takes the high road. It's in my right hand. The blue yarn is taking the low road. I'll go ahead and turn that around for you. We'll take a little peek because we can start to see what's happening. You see how the blue yarn is carried down below when you turn it around? So that is the yarn that's in your left hand, and it is the one that's lower on the, um, on the row. It's also the larger stitch. So if we talk about yarn color dominance, the one that's in your left hand, which is also the lower, um, path for the floats makes a larger stitch. So I remember that with the letter L <laughs> for your left hand. So you can tell your left hand makes the letter L. Um, the left hand yarn is the larger stitch. So they're both L's. So that is super quick, super basic, keeping those two yarns held together. Um, and then just a note about color dominance.